Recent studies suggest that PRP injections can improve pain and symptoms due to knee cartilage lesions and cartilage defects. But what's even more exciting is that there may now be evidence that platelet-rich plasma can also help facilitate cartilage healing. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. It was previously thought that cartilage lesions could not heal, but that notion may now be changing because of platelet-rich plasma. One particularly fascinating case was published recently in the Journal of Cartilage and Joint Preservation. It involved a 37-year-old male patient with a chronic osteochondral defect in his knee. This patient had a history of osteochondritis desiccans, a condition where a segment of bone and its adjacent cartilage lose blood supply and begin to separate from the surrounding tissue. Despite undergoing surgical repair in 2000, he continued to experience knee pain for nearly two decades. In 2018, the patient wanted wanted to try alternative options to surgery, so he opted for a series of platelet-rich plasma treatments. Over the course of three years, he received four PRP injections and, remarkably, MRI scans revealed significant healing of the osteochondral defect. The lesion, which initially measured 2.2 by 1.4 centimeters before getting PRP, reduced in size and measured just 0.7 by 0.5 centimeters. Not only did the MRI shows structural healing, but the patient also reported a substantial reduction in pain and improved knee function. This case is groundbreaking because it's the first to show MRI proven healing of an osteochondral defect solely through PRP injections. It challenges the long-held belief that cartilage cannot regenerate and suggests that PRP can be a powerful tool for not just symptom management, but also for facilitating actual tissue healing. Other research studies also support the use of PRP injections for cartilage lesions. A recent study in bioengineering highlights the effectiveness of PRP therapy for knee cartilage lesions. The study included 81 patients aged 20 to 79 with various stages of knee osteoarthritis and focal chondropathy. These patients received PRP injections and the results showed an average satisfaction score of 80.81 out of 100, with 52% of patients meeting criteria for significant improvement in pain and function. Notably, patients with early stage osteoarthritis and those over 40 years old with focal chondropathy benefited the most. Improvements in WOMAC and IKDC scores indicated meaningful clinical benefits. Now, it's important to note that while all of this is very promising, more research is needed to fully understand how PRP can help treat cartilage lesions and how much healing is actually taking place. What's clear is that PRP injections offer a less invasive option compared to traditional surgical approaches with shorter recovery times and the potential for real structural healing. For patients seeking alternatives to surgery for cartilage injuries, PRP presents a compelling option worth considering. In my practice, I've seen firsthand the benefits of using PRP for cartilage lesions. If you're interested in learning more about platelet-rich plasma, I've created an in-depth video that covers everything you need to know about PRP injections.